Hello, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And today's video is the Homeschool Show and Tell Open Collaboration by The Waldock Way and Rooted in Rest. And our topic is our favorite educational toys. So I wanted to start by just saying that we are big gamers. We are fans of the video games and the board games that have educational content. So, um, and you know, maybe some that don't, but as far as favorite educational toys go, I do want to say that um, there are a lot of good educational video games and uh, computer games and apps that you might find um, appealing for your child and can then make screen time a little bit more comfortable in that they're not just zoning out in front of a TV or something. That being said, what I want to talk about is more of the board games and hands-on toys um, that you might be looking for, maybe for upcoming holidays. So one of the first is uh, Legos. I think Legos are great. I think that having those open-ended toys are really nice. Um, and you can get the little sets, obviously, that, you know, come together. But I like to get the ones that don't have specific instructions that are just a mix of all sorts of pieces. That way you can leave it open for the child to be really creative. Something else that I would say, if you're gonna get Legos, you should get something like these, like lay and go. This is a lay and go light, but it is like a little bag that you spread out and they play in that with the Legos. And then when you're done, you just cinch it and it all goes up. So it's a little bit easier. Now, these are the smaller ones. So they're like maybe good for like on a table or a small area, but it's, um, it's basically just a, a pouch and then you can <laughs> cinch it and then it becomes the bag full of the Legos and then you go move it to another location and it makes for quick cleanup, which is really helpful because Legos are always um, underfoot, right? So that's a good way to get uh, something good to get along with the Legos. Another one along the same lines of the creativity piece is flexi sticks. So these are, I want to say that they're bamboo pieces. Yeah, they're eco-friendly toys. Um, it's bamboo um, and they look like this. So they're bamboo sticks of different lengths and then little plastic um, connector pieces and you can make a bunch of really cool stuff like this rocket ship that we made this week. Um, and so that is a fun uh, activity that is something that they can do with their hands. Um, my kid likes to do these while they're listening. So if we're doing um, a lot of reading. It's helpful for my kid to have like a little fidget to play with. And so we often pull these out. Um, so there's something to do. There's something to build with. Keeps the hands busy. Um, but it's also very like um, architectural style in the building. And it's a completely different sort of feel than Lego. So um, can build very different things. I'm also, we're big proponents of board games and there are some other videos on my channel that talk about all the board games that we use for various things, but I'm just gonna highlight two other like game type things or toys. Um, Scategories is uh, one that we are really big fans of um, lately. There's a variety of different types of categories. This one is categories. So you get to work on the category, um, sorting things by category, but you know, coming up with things in a certain category and the creativity aspect of it, of coming up with those things and spelling for whether it starts with the right letter. And the kid really loves it. It says ages 12 and up. My kid is eight. We play it. I think we played it when the kid was seven. So, um, you know, it's whether or not you're going to take it too seriously. You can always just add extra time um, and support to make it uh, more 
uh, fun for younger kids. And then the last one, it's kind of, I guess it's not really a, a toy toy, but it's not really a game, um, but snap circuits. We have probably three or four kits of snap circuits. And these are really cool because they come with the experiments. And this one says 101 experiments, the grids laid out and labeled well, um, and they can complete the activity, make it play whatever music or light up or things like that. Um, these say, let's see, what age does this one say? Maybe it doesn't say. Um, I think we started, oh, it says ages eight to 108. There we go. I think we started with the Snap Circuits beginner um, at like age six with supervision. And it didn't really take that long before my kid could do it by themselves. The key is to just teach from the beginning that once you complete it, you put everything back. Then you know where all the pieces are so that then you complete the next one. Um, so that's worked out really well. And um, yeah, and I think that that's a great educational, obviously it's kind of talking about like, or working through like circuitry and, and beginner like electronics. Um, but it's also just nice for like the following directions, the looking at a grid and matching that. So that's sort of like match to model, match to sample type skills. Um, so anyway, those are some <laughs> of our favorite educational toys. I'd love to hear other educational toy suggestions from you and be sure to check out the other videos on this playlist so that you can see everyone else's educational toys. Bye!